Hi guys, welcome to episode one of Heal That Gut. And this is a little bit of a different video from what I am putting up. This is gonna be a series that is more personal, so a bit of my story, um, as opposed to other education and inform informational things that I have on my channel. This is going to be a series about me and healing my gut and I hope it will be helpful to others out there. This is a bit of the, you know, me walking the walk and doing, you know, what I tell my clients to do. So the practitioner is going into the patient mode for this series because I have my own health obstacles that I have been working to overcome. Obviously, partly why I have gotten into the work of what I do in holistic healing um, is because of my own journey. And it has been, you know, a long one, and I'll go into that probably in some other videos. But this is specifically based off of what I am encountering now. And right now, I am battling some <clears throat> pretty severe gut infections. And I found these out by a, a gut panel that I ran, that I run through my practice. And it came back not too surprising. I was a little disappointed. Things were a bit worse than maybe I thought. But how this happened is I, I've obviously had a lot of digestive troubles and gut pain throughout my life, but I've healed so much and, you know, doing all of those things and with my diet and changing, changing everything. But I had a weird situation come up. I was actually feeling about the best I felt, you know, in my life in a long time last fall. And then this winter I got really sick, like severely sick sinus infection. And I broke out in severe hives. And they were just so horrible. They covered my entire body. Um, that deep tissue swelling, hives that just like go to your core. And I could not get them under control. I, I just could not get them under control. And this lasted for well over a week. And um, I did you know some of some of what I could to help and eventually they calmed down but I started getting them you know little bits every day or every other day and that's been continuing for a few months now I haven't gotten them quite as bad but they still do pop up and this was such a red flag for me this actually happened as a kid if you've heard my story I got hives chronically as a child and um, was never totally sure where they where they come from then but this was such a red flag for me that there's something going on and I needed to look into it and explore what was happening so I because of how my symptoms correlated I knew that this stuff could go with the gut right obviously and this could go with gut infections <clears throat> so I did the panel came back I have some nasty infections, right? So a lot of stuff in there I don't want. My immune system shot, um, a lot of bad things. So now I am on my journey and I set up my protocol as I would do for a client, right? Um, and unfortunately with what is happening, it's gonna be some time. So it's probably going to be between 120 days to 150 days. So mine is longer because of in the type of infections. I do have some parasite infections. Gross. Um, that's actually quite common. I've heard about 85% of people or even more have some sort of infection from parasites, but how bad it is and what type that can vary. Um, I don't know how I got them. I don't know how long they've been there. I've obviously, I've traveled abroad and um, I'm around animals and things like that, <clears throat> but they have taken a hold. Likely from 
the breakdown of my system before I heal too. So uh, if you have great digestion, if you are healthy and strong, these things can pass through. If you aren't, they take a hold, that's when they become a problem. I also have some bacterial infections and some mold infections. So it's a long list. And when I set this up, when this healing is set up for clients, that's how you want to tackle it. Parasite infections, bacterial and fungal. So I'm breaking this down into chunks, periods of time to tackle each one. And uh, I give that range between 120, 150 days because it can go quicker if your body can handle it. And you can kind of layer some of the supplements and what you're doing on top of each other. Why I'm making this series is because this stuff is tough. There's no shortcut, right? Um, it's gonna take over my summer. It's gonna be the next few months, but this is my priority because I want to feel well again and I want to be healthy. Um, and a few months of putting my health a priority. Some might call it a sacrifice, but really I'm looking at it as putting myself as a priority is going to be worth the return of all the years after, right? So if I do this correctly, if I really put into it um, and take that time, I shouldn't have to do this again. And this is just part of the healing process. So I'm gonna be sharing this journey with you guys and what I'm eating, what I'm doing, how I'm feeling and all of that because as I've noticed, even with some of my clients that go through this, it can be lonely. Um, sometimes it's hard to socialize. At first, sometimes you feel like crap and um, you wonder, is this normal? What am I going through? And all of that. So I wanna help document. And if you are out there and you are battling a gut infection or you think maybe something's going on or you haven't healed, I wanna help provide you some insight into what, what you can do and what can occur. And also just open up that community and that discussion because there should not be anything to hide behind with this. So, that is what this series is going to be and this is episode one and I just wanted to give you a little insight into that. Um, so far I am about 10 days into my healing. So um, the first few days I was starting some of my supplements so I am on some supplements that target parasites so warm wormwood and black walnuts and garlic and some of those those things are really effective in these type of infections so i started slowly titrating some of these supplements in and of course the diet you can take all the supplements in the world but if your diet isn't right that's not going to work but in general it's a lot of gut healing foods and we'll go into that with with the episodes but that is where i'm at and i hope you follow along if you have questions at all on what i'm doing or my protocol or how it can help you anything feel free to ask in the comments and i hope you stick with me through this process so i will see you guys soon in episode two